Yo, what's going on, Arkansas Razorback fans, SEC fans everywhere? Welcome. It is the one, the only Pig Trail Network. I'm its host and creator, Ty Hudson. I want to thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to stop by and check out the video. If you guys would, at the end, like, comment, share the content that you've just watched. And, of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button. And, as always, don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description box. <laughs> So much has happened, and we're not even out of the first week of June for Arkansas Athletics. This is incredible. We'll start off first with a Virginia Tech grad transfer, Kerry Blackshear Jr., 16, 250-pound forward, considered really one of the best grad transfers that's out there. This is a guy that averaged uh, right around uh, 15 points a game. He was. He, I, this is a big time. This would be a big time get for anybody. Obviously, for Arkansas, what a huge addition this would and could possibly be, assuming he were to. To, uh, to come to Arkansas, but he is visiting, and he's also considering Florida, among others. Musselman would, I, I think, turn a lot of heads. He already has with some of his, you know, when you talk about putting together his staff, he's put together a pretty solid staff. And you look at the grad transfers, and some of those guys are going to get the chance to come in and, and be a part of, of what's going on on the court. They're going to be a part of the product as, as early as next year. Obviously, Kerry Blackshear would also be immediately eligible because he is a grad transfer. So when you talk about mapping out teams – that you like to make the tournament, you you already kind of feel like Arkansas is in there somewhere. You add someone like this to your to your roster, you feel a little bit more confident in putting them in the in the category of teams that make the NCAA tournament. Next up, Arkansas loses a commitment from a big time wide receiver in Xavion Capers out of Alpharetta, Georgia, six three hundred ninety five pounds. He has offers from South Carolina, Auburn, Boston College, and Clemson, just to name a few. This is a guy that also committed really early. I think he was the first commitment for the 2020 class, if I remember correctly. And along the way, he's he's gained some more attention, and, and he's done really well at camps. He started turning heads. And so he effectively wants to decommit and look elsewhere. So can't blame a kid. Please don't take to social media and go after this guy. Please leave him and his family alone. Wish him the best. You know, be a hog fan. Wish them the best and, and go on about your business. But they are in on another four-star prospect at the position, Jalen Polk, another tall 6'3 kid, 190 pounds, give or take. He does have a short list, Arizona, Baylor, Texas Tech, and Arkansas. So the Hogs did make his short list. He doesn't have an announcement date that I'm aware of, but, again, the Razorbacks did make his final four. So that could, be a, could possibly be another four-star wide receiver that they could add to replace – the loss to Xavion Capers. Let your voice be heard down below in the comments section if you know anything about Polk, but could be a, a pretty big asset to this 2020 class. So, yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much. Remember to like, comment, share the content that you just watched. Of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button. Check out the links down below in the description box. Until the next video, Woo Pig.